Today I'm making a soap called Winter Wonderland. Real creative, I know. But if this comes out the way I, I'm planning, um, <laughs> you hear what I just said? If it comes out the way I'm planning, that never happens. Um, <laughs> not that I'm complaining, it usually comes out nice, but it never comes out the way I plan. But if it comes out anywhere close to what I'm planning, then um, Winter Wonderland's gonna be a good name. And if it doesn't, and it's way off, maybe I'll change the name. Um, what I'm doing here is adding my melted oils, um, my hard oils, mango, um, palm, coconut, so my olive oil and my other softer oils. Okay. And here's my lye water. This might be a little bit of a challenge. I got a lot of fun things planned for this one. So I'm excited about this soap. going a little bit. And what I'm going to add before I mix it up too much is the sodium lactate. This is my Kaylin. Again, I say this every time, but you want to get that mixed in really, really <laughs> And um, my fragrance oil, which is a fresh, clean scent with just a hint of peppermint. It smells really interesting and good. Like a unique, kind of yummy scent. You want to keep smelling it. <laughs> Okay, now for my colors. The first one is going to be some mica. It's a sparkle mica. And I don't think it's going to be as white as I want it to be, so I've also got some titanium dioxide to add. But I'm going to do one at a time. We'll see how it goes here. <laughs> It's whitening a bit, but not quite as much as I want it to. It's more silvery than white. So let's add some titanium. Oh, I love the scent. Oh my goodness. It is starting to smell so good. Now let's divide up the colors a little bit. I'm making a really huge mess here. Me, that's why I use paper towels. And I go through a lot when I do this. This one's going to get just a little bit of blue. I'm going to 
overdo it here. some marks on the side of the mold. I've marked off two small pieces for the ends and then one inch intervals for the bars. And I'm going to start with I'm going to start with my weight on the bottom about halfway, maybe slightly less. Then I'm going to do some blue and I don't want it to go to all the way to the bottom so I'm going to pour close to the mold. Perfect. This one I have kind of a layer. I'm doing sort of a swirl. And I'm going to kind of add to the swirl with this. Just stir it a little bit. Now. I'm going to put right on top without mixing it, so I'm going to get kind of close. Okay, the camera shut off, and I don't know how much you missed, but <laughs> here I am. And what I'm going to do is pour some of my blue into a squirt bottle. I'm trying not to make a huge mess. A little I usually do. If you can see that. Not too bad. And on each, what would be each bar, I'm going to put just a little bit. And it's very liquidy, which is exactly what I wanted. So it's just the perfect consistency.
wish my hand wasn't shaking. Very pretty. Nice, alrighty.